If you buy an electric car, can you plug it into any EV charger that you come across? Is it true that Tesla's taking over the game and soon all EVs will be switching over to using the Tesla plug? What if you buy an EV and the plug it uses gets discontinued? How are you supposed to charge your car? If you're new here, my name's Trevor, and if not, welcome back to the channel. The EV charging market is constantly changing, but I promise you, if you subscribe to this channel, you'll learn everything you need to know to stay ahead of the curve. I think we can all agree that the key to success in anything really is mastering the fundamentals. And today we're going back to the basics. Believe it or not, right now, there isn't just one standard plug that works to charge all EVs in the market but this may be changing pretty soon. Stick around to the end of the video, which is the most important part, where I'll talk about the future of EV charging and the Tesla supercharger plug. Before we dive into the connector plugs, let's just quickly retouch on the three levels of EV charging. Level one is the most basic and just uses your home standard outlet. It usually will charge your car in about 16 hours and is best for charging overnight. Level two chargers are the most common chargers that you'll see out in public. These are quite a bit faster than level one, but they'll still take about six hours to charge your car. Lastly, there's level three charging or DC fast charging, which is by far the fastest. This is great for powering up super quick for long road trips and will usually power you up in about 30 minutes. So if I have an EV, can I just rock up to any EV charger that I see, plug in and start charging? Well, first you need to make sure that you have the right connector plug so everything is compatible and fits together. And the first connector type we're gonna talk about is the J1772. Catchy name, I know. This is also sometimes called the type one connector and is the most common type of plug for EVs in North America, outside of Tesla. The plug is completely round or circular and has five pins, three fat ones and two skinnier ones. This plug can be used for both level one and level two charging. And almost every charger that you see out in public will have a J1772 plug again, other than Tesla. Every single EV charger that I've ever sold has had a J1772 plug, including the level one chargers that you use at home. Almost all EVs can use this plug, but they may need an adapter, which I'll get to in a little bit. Okay, the next connector plug is known as the type two connector plug or the Menekes plug. This connector plug is most common in Europe and looks kind of similar to the J1772, except instead of five pins, it has seven, and it's not completely circular, it's almost flat on the top. I'm in North America, so I won't focus on this plug too much, but cars over there in Europe, like BMW and Volkswagen, they'll be using this plug. Okay, now that we've covered level one and level two charging, let's go up to the big leagues and talk about the connector plug for level three or DC fast charging. The CCS or combined charging system is now the most common connector plug used for level three charging worldwide. If you look at this connector plug, it may look very similar to you. And this is because the top of the plug is the same as the J1772 we talked about before, combined with two fatter pins on the bottom. The top part supports AC charging, and those bottom two pins support DC charging. And this is why it's called the combined charging system. Basically, if you walk up to any level three charger you see in public and take a look at the plug, it's most likely gonna be a CCS plug. Again, as long as it doesn't have a Tesla logo on it. Also, remember the type two plug or the Menekes plug that Europe uses? They also have a combined charging system or CCS plug that they use for DC fast charging but instead of the top part being a J1772, it's just the Menekes plug. Okay, the next connector type, I almost feel obligated to tell you about because, well, it exists, 
but you can basically forget about it right after I tell you, and it's the Chatamo plug. I always think of the Chatamo plug as the odd man out. Whenever I hear Chatamo plug, I instantly think Nissan Leaf because this is the only car on the market still using the Chatamo plug. For some reason, this plug just never really caught on and eventually it will be phased out so you don't really need to worry about it, but now you know. Sorry, Nissan Leaf owners, I'm not trying to hate on you. Okay, here's the important stuff. Lastly, and probably the biggest impact for the future is gonna be the Tesla supercharger connector. If there's one plug you don't need to know about, it's the Chatamo plug. And if there's one plug that you do need to know about, it's the Tesla supercharger plug. Originally, this plug was just called the Tesla supercharger connector, but now the official name is the NAX connector. But what does NAX mean? NAX stands for North American Charging Standard. And just like the name suggests, it's soon going to be the standard for all EVs in North America. There used to be a little bit of a battle between the J1772 and the Tesla plug. But in mid 2023, major car manufacturers like Ford and GM, they announced that soon they're going to be switching all their cars over to using the Tesla plug. And in 2024, Tesla announced that it will slowly be opening up their Tesla supercharger network for all EVs to have access to charging with their chargers. Now, this is a really big deal because Tesla has the biggest and best EV charging network out there. And if they open it up for all EVs to have access, this means the floodgates will be open for everybody to have super fast charging. Maybe I'm a nerd and I just get way too excited about this industry, but when I heard this news, I was like, whoa, this might be the tipping point for more widespread adoption of electric vehicles. As of right now in October, 2024, only three car manufacturers currently have access to using Tesla superchargers and it's Ford, GM and Rivian. It's more complicated than just being able to plug into the chargers. It also has to do with the apps giving access and allowing payments to start the charging. Non-Tesla cars will have to use an adapter called the Magic Dock adapter. And Ford started selling these adapters on their website in February. Version three Tesla superchargers are gonna have these Magic Dock adapters ready for people to use on site. Now, a side note to this, not all Tesla superchargers are the same. There's version one, version two, and version three. Version three are the most recent models, and these are the ones that will be opened up for other EVs to use. There's already thousands of these locations across North America. I also heard that next up to have access is Kia, and this is super exciting because I'm starting to fall in love with Kia's new EVs, but I digress. If you're wondering why my surroundings look different, it's because I'm traveling right now. So hello from Santa Marta, Colombia. I'd also love to hear your thoughts on all EVs switching over to using the Tesla plug in the comments below. I really appreciate all my new subscribers. And as always, if you're working on your own EV charging project, feel free to give me a shout. I'd be happy to help. Thanks so much for checking in and I'll catch you on the next one. Cheers.